Stream and reservoir fishing in Grand County is wonderfully varied and open to everyone. Blah. With the simple purchase of a Colorado fishing license, a short drive to your favorite fishing hole, and a little effort on the water, you can have great success up here. Unlike President Dwight D. Eisenhower, we live in a time where water is tightly controlled and streams are incredibly fragile. We also don't have the benefit of the rivers being stocked ahead of our fishing session like Ike, but I digress. Regardless of stereotypical notions about the beauty and grace of fly fishing, the whole nature of the business comes down to one thing. An angler trying to find fish and put them in his net. And that angler might just be a fisherman. She might be someone's mom learning to roll cast, or someone's grandkid picking up on the undertones of respect and tenacity. And we honor the fish by releasing it with care back to its delicately balanced ecosystem. Because that feels right. And we do what feels right up here. You notice that? Eric Palmer is a friend and a darn fine angler. He ties his own flies and has searched out many of the nooks and crannies of the local waterways. Let's hear what he has to say about fishing in the Colorado high country. Came out here in uh, Winter Park area in 1998. Uh, originally a bass fisherman. Uh, my dad was huge into bass fishing, uh, but then I quickly learned how to uh, fly fish once I moved out here. So I've been fly fishing for well over 10 years now and uh, tie my own flies and fly fish about five days a week in the spring, summer and fall. And then when the ski season comes around, you know, the snow's good, you know, I put my fly rod away for a little bit and I'll go skiing. But if the snow's not good, you know, you can fish all year round in Grand County. So I'll go out uh, to the Williams Fork or to, to the Colorado and Partial. Uh, that's controlled by a reservoir, it's all open. So yeah, I mean, I've caught fish in every month of the year here in Grand County. It's uh, one of the benefits that I've got with my job and allows me to fish or ski and man, it's a great perk for sure. <laughs> the rivers that we're talking about up here, we're talking about the Fraser River, the Colorado River, and then there's uh, a bunch of different creeks and uh, many uh, lakes, reservoirs uh, in Grand County that are all open to the public. Uh, just need a valid uh, fishing license if you're gonna fish. And uh, yeah, get out there on the water. I mean, wherever you're at in Grand County, there's public fishing. There's tons of opportunities out there for you. So over the past 10 years of fly fishing, uh, a few of my friends that had had more experience than I did uh, showed me how to tie some flies. And uh, so now, every time when I go out fishing, all the flies that I fish with are ones that I've tied previously. So which makes it kind of double enjoyment of catching a fish. You know, you got to figure out what they're eating that day, and then you put your fly on, and then finally you get a couple couple bites, and then you land a fish, and you're like, wow, you know, I just tied that up yesterday, or the night before, or a week ago. So you want to go fishing, you're in Colorado, you don't know what to do. First off, Look for your look for a local fly shop that you're uh, the area that you're going to be fishing in. Normally they'll have a hatch chart in there, a river flow chart, and uh, they can obviously give you uh, as many tips as to which flies are the fish are eating at the time. If you're not that confident and don't feel that good, you can always hire somebody. You can do a weighted trip, kind of like what I'm doing today and or you can hire a guide and do a float trip, which we've seen a couple of those, and uh, that's obviously uh, fishing from a raft. So as you can see today, we've had many, we've had quite a few rafters out. We've got some other drift boats with fishermen and some other rafts with fishermen. And you know, it's all about just getting out here, doing what you love, loving what you do, and you know, spending time outdoors, getting on the water. Fly fishing for me, you know, it's not always about uh, catching a ton of fish or whatever. It's just about being out, out in nature. What am I gonna see today? Am I gonna see a bald eagle? Am I gonna see some kind of hawk? Am I gonna see a bear? Am I gonna see a moose? What, what's it gonna be today? 
the catching part, that's just the bonus. The rainbows spawn in the spring. It's a good time to catch some big rainbows. They come up into shallower water and the browns and brook trout, they spawn in the fall. And they also as well go into some shallower water to spawn. And you can see some big fish, catch some big fish during that time. Summer, a lot of bugs are hatching. Catch them on dries, catch them nymphing like we've been doing this morning. Catch them on streamers. Um, but yeah, I mean, typically it gets pretty cold in December, January, so a lot of people don't fly fish. But you know, fish are still eating, so you know, they're out there to be caught for sure. Now, I don't want to catch any fish on any other rod than a fly rod, to be honest. So you want to come prepared out here before you get started. You want to make sure you put on some sunscreen, have the, some, some chapstick, lip balm, something like that. A uh, good, good hat, some sunglasses, preferably ones that are polarized. A breathable shirt, some breathable clothes, something you're going to be comfortable in. So there's a fish right there. Took it on the swing. Fish on. Fish on. And there's a fish. It's a nice one. It is a nice one, folks. Stay on, baby, stay on. Uh, male brown here got a tiny little hook there you can see starting on the bottom jaw there so you can tell the male from the female but yeah got that fly right inside of his mouth and we'll get rid of him put him back let him swim out of my hand which I'm sure he's ready oh, buddy. That kick I was looking for get that <laughs> being on the river all the time you know I'm uh, I pick up trash basically almost every single day um, so what I'm asking basically is pack in pack out obviously it's very simple let's keep uh, let's keep Colorado beautiful and if you can help out if you've got an extra pocket and you see a tin can or you see a piece of plastic you know go ahead and grab it and pick it up just for the cleanliness of the river all right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And uh, last advice to you is uh, get out on the river and have some fun and uh, try to catch a few fish. And uh, maybe we'll see you out there. I'm Eric Palmer. Thanks for watching Channel 17. Have a great day.